five seconds in front of Stetsenko. This morning, she will take some beating. Sujiuchi, Edo Veltran, Gili, Maya, Stetsenko, Tosh Palatova, Lukinenko, and Jones, the women's 400 meters freestyle, S13 final. There we see that light go off in lane four for Rebecca Myers, who, as well as having a visual impairment, also has a hearing impairment, so she needs to be able to see that starting signal. Again, this is a combined event, so there are athletes from the S13 category, but also from the S12 category, and it is, in fact, Rebecca Myers of the USA in lane four, and Daria Lukyanenko of Russia, who are the two S12 swimmers in this event everyone else is an s13 so again there are two world records and sets of regional records up for grabs but it is only one set of medals that can be taken and rebecca myers in fact does hold both world records at the moment she was formerly a s13 star. she won the paralympic games in this event in that category but has been reclassified due to a site generation and now she's attacking that world record that she recently broke in the S12 category. Yeah, set that in the Pan Packs last year in Cairns in Australia. 424.3, the new standard for the S12 swimmers. She actually made her Paralympic debut here in London. Rebecca Myers, she's got fond memories of this pool. Silver and bronze. Before winning her first world titles the following year in Montreal and that world championships two gold and two silvers in 2013 and just continued on from there really Rebecca Myers there leading by just under a second from Carlotta Gilles who got the silver at the world championships in Mexico to Rebecca Myers's goal so currently they are sat in the same positions and then in lane number five it is Anastasenko of the Ukraine who again is sticking with Julie and these three are breaking away from the rest of the field yeah this could well be the podium that we're looking at here 200 meter mark halfway point and it is Rebecca Myers who is comfortably in front of the rest of the field triple Paralympic champion from Rio de Janeiro. And contrastingly to the two athletes that are trailing her at the moment, we see that Rebecca Lies is barely kicking her legs, just using them to keep her balanced. All that work coming from the upper body, so she will still have the legs to go to as she turns with 150 meters to go. And then we see a little kick off the wall, but now back to that arm dominant stroke. composed it's strong from Myers experience at this level she's been there and done it so many times now doesn't seem to quench the appetite for the American though three hundred meters gone three sixteen is the time Looking at a really good time here, Rebecca Myers. Her world, that block. her world record is currently 424.3 in this event. Sorry, Steve, getting all excited there. <laughs> we had the same thought <laughs> at the same time. Yeah, so the race really is on for Rebecca Myers as she comes into this final turn now heading for home down this last 50 meters you'd expect that leg kick that she uses off the wall to stick as she oh, come in a bit more strongly and there we see a bit more white water from her and there's a charge coming from Anastasenko in lane five of the ukraine but has she left herself with enough room well Stetsenko here is absolutely flying 
Where on earth does this pressure come from? I think it is going to be too little too late, but she's made Myers think about this. How quick is the time from Myers? Oh, it's magnificent. 4.22.34, a gold medal, a new world record. Rebecca Myers is sensational. We won't be getting that world record graphic at the moment because it is an S13 event. And as we said, Rebecca Myers now swims in the S12 category, but there it is, that graphic to show you that she did, in fact, swim a new world record time of 4.22.34. Rebecca Myers of the USA. Big beaming smile. And why wouldn't you? An amazing swim. It took a long way inside her previous best as well, set in Cairns last year. And I just wondered with 30 meters to go there, it almost looked like Stepsenko is about to do something utterly ridiculous and maybe just gave Myers a little bit to think about. Difficult to tell whether she'd have been aware. But either way, she finished incredibly strongly. Yeah, Stasenko there had an incredible last 50 meters. Did she leave too much in the tank? Should she have gone a little bit earlier? We'll never know. Well, she was three seconds off with 50 meters to go and ended about a second back. <laughs> Amazing finish. Shoksan Kontoshpalatova, by the way, from an Asian record in fourth place. It won't quite be enough for the podium. That will be Stasenko and Gilly. But there's confirmation, that S12 world record, Rebecca Myers, fantastic as ever.